في بلاد الخير إمارات الخير نلتقيكم In this great country of the United Arab Emirates we achieve success after success مع آلاف الحكايات سوف نفتح كتب الذكريات ونسمع منهم كل هذا وأكثر في وثائق نجاح معي أنا شادية الحسامي نلتقيكم Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to Success Documentary Program and today we would like to welcome Mr. Alexander and Mrs. Yelena. Mr. Alexander, you are, Alexander, you are most welcome today with us. Thank you. Welcome to our office. You are most welcome. Uh, Mrs. Yelena, we are happy to have you today with us. Yes, we are happy to have you here also. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as a beginning, we would like to know more about Mr. Alexander. Who is Alexander and how were your beginnings in AE? My name is Alexander Zavisic. I come from Serbia and uh, we are here for the last eight years. Uh, I am a child of an architectural family. My father, my mother, my sister were all architects yeah. and then me as well. I uh, went to architecture but after that I was not happy with only that so I went on and proceeded with management studies. Mm -hmm. So I have put uh, the two together merging the architecture and the management in order to create uh, some more value to the things that I will do in my life. Uh, eight years ago, we moved to UAE. At that time, uh, after the economic crisis in Europe, the things were very slow and we needed, uh, my spirit required some more action and we saw the UAE as the place where many things were happening at the time. So we shifted here and uh, started basically our company because we saw a lot of opportunity in uh, the business that we are doing, which is yeah. interior design and fit out. As the country, UAE is all about construction exactly. and new developments. Yeah. So this is where we saw our opportunity to bring the new values, to the bring the new quality and uh, things that uh, we have done before in, uh, in Europe, yeah. to bring it here in UAE. Yeah, very interesting. I will be back to you, Mr. Alexander. Elena, we would like yes. to know about your beginnings in UAE. Yes, yes. As Alexander already told you, uh, I came also from Serbia, basically from the same city, Belgrade. And back home, I finished uh, law university and I was working in one law company there. Mm -hmm. After that, I finished also interior design. And mm -hmm. when we came, came here together, 2013, we opened the company. Yes. So since that time, I'm doing interior design in the company. So this is already 10 years, eight and a half. Very nice. And it's interesting as yes. well. Yes. Uh, Mr. Alexander, your uh, beginnings, uh, how much it was easy or difficult for you to adjust with life here? Well, uh, I have to say it was not easy. Yeah. Uh, life in UAE, not only life, the work, uh, the environment, the people of here. Course. You know, we have to understand, uh, which is not always easy, that in UAE you have 190 or plus nationalities living under one mm. one um, sky let's say yes. and uh, it was not that easy to adjust to all these uh, diversities you know that are brought uh, together here mm -hmm. as well in particular to our work uh, it is very let's say complicated to shift from one standards and uh, requirements to completely yeah. different set of uh, mm -hmm. way how things are done exactly. So the uh, first two years were very challenging. Mm. It was a lot of learning. It was not easy, you know, uh, but uh, Dubai is a place where you can uh, try and experiment and uh, you will very fast find out if you're successful or not. Yeah. You know, the things here are uh, not taken for granted. So you either uh, succeed or you don't. Yes. So your business, your company would like to know more about it in details. What what Mr. Alexander is doing exactly? Uh, our company, it's our family company, Yelena's and mine, uh, Saltis Interiors. We are interior design and fit out company. Uh, that means we are doing everything that a uh, project uh, requires, whether it's commercial, hospitality or residential, mm -hmm. uh, to get it delivered to the client, basically. Mm -hmm. um, 
what we did in the beginning uh, was more of the offices fit out, which is always an emerging and booming sector in UAE because it attracts a lot of foreign investors and yeah. uh, companies are opening offices here. So that was naturally the first step for us to start doing offices. Uh, we had a lot of experience with that. Yeah. Uh, after a while we got more inquiries and people got interested more in our design which is more modern style and uh, then we started doing more of the villas, private villas in UAE, mm -hmm. whether for uh, nationals or expats living here. There was really a lot of requirements because people recognize the quality of the design that mm -hmm. we do and the work that we execute and the finishes that we provide. Mm -hmm. So this is what basically pushed us together forward to move more to the villas and apartments. So as it went, Mm -hmm. uh, people were recognizing the quality of the work we do mm -hmm. and we were just going from one project to another. So it was like uh, advertisement to yourself, your work was advertisement. To exactly. You. exactly. Yeah. We Word of mouth. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, uh, Mrs. Yelena, she's giving you ideas when it comes to interior design, decorations. No, Mrs. Yelena is I'm doing the interior the ideas. design. She is actually New doing ideas. the, in the yes. interior ideas. design. Different but ideas, but I'm basically head of design, so I'm doing interior design from A to Z. Perfect. Yeah. The good thing is that uh, her taste and style and uh, the education enable her to always uh, give something more to the customers, yeah. to recognize their requirements, the taste, the style they need, and then to satisfy all of that with very elegant touches of her uh, design. Mm -hmm. Aside of that, we invest a lot into our knowledge and resources. We are visiting all the international exhibitions and are always up to date with the latest trends, yeah. materials, technologies, technologies yeah. as well. So we are always trying to give our customers something more, something extra that they're not able to find that easily here. Yeah, perfect. And what are the most important projects you have done during this time that give you a push in your, in your work? Oh, we have uh, look, every project for us is mm -hmm. uh, special was, was and, and unique. Yeah. You know, we approach every client as the one and only. Yeah. You know, so we give our best really to every client. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to to select one which was more special than the other because all of our projects all require yeah, all of special. our heart and soul and knowledge <coughs> and experience, so we can get the maximum results. Yeah, Mrs. Elena, uh, sometimes uh, you are getting some clients who, which maybe they are confused what they want exactly especially like uh, somebody wants to make the villa the way they want mm. their dream house so they they come to you they want uh, their dream house but they don't know exactly what they want how do you read their, their uh, the most important thing is to understand their requirements yeah. and to follow their taste and sometimes the style even yeah. Of course, we are giving them our ideas and our proposals, but we have to follow their taste and their style. And of course, to uh, give them something best. Yeah, and how it feels when a customer gives you uh, his uh, feedback, like it was amazing, you made my dream house, I'm happy Of with course, we you. feel very proud, very uh, proud. It gives you a push in the Of course, it gives us a push. More. Uh, yeah. Always, always, it's now different opportunities, so we have to yes. go to another project. I another, best of yes, and uh, Mr. Alexander, of course, your su your success didn't stop at at here at this very moment. Of course, you have uh, new plans, new uh, future ideas, uh, motivations. We would like to share them with you today. Sure. Well, of course, as any company, as any business and uh, person in life, you're trying to do more, to do better and to push forward. You know, also Dubai is a very specific place where uh, uh, the environment also pushes you always to be better, to be uh, faster, to be smarter. You know, so we have to stay in line with that as well. Uh, our company has grown. Uh, very f steady so far, which is always the best way as we see it, you know, to grow yeah. steady and stable, uh, to have a stable company, uh, to provide security for our employees, for our business, yeah. for our family, after all. So we have always planned our growth very carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not jumping into uh, risky things uh, and we're trying to be very, yeah. very smart and wise about yeah. uh, what we're going to. However, 
this uh, pandemic also has taught us that we have to be always very careful and ready for all the situations that are coming in front of us. Uh, after eight years of uh, continuous uh, work and experiences and growth of our company, we are now moving to the next level where we are uh, trying to get really to the top of the UAE's market when it comes to interior design and uh, the execution of our work. So we are implementing uh, new technologies, uh, we are growing the number of employees and we are reaching out uh, to the widest range of uh, customers and their demands. We are now uh, basically able to answer any kind of requirement for the yes. highest quality of, uh, of demands. Yes, I wish uh, very soon we we'll see you in the best levels and highest, highest levels, <laughs> you say. I hope so. Um, Elena, of course, UAE was uh, having a specific role in your starting, your growing up, your company. What are the platforms this, can, this country offers you? Offer, to, offer us, uh, first of all, the safety, yeah. which is the most important exactly. for us and for our <coughs> kid, yeah. because he feels really safe. And this is for us the most important thing. Also, the important thing is the, the transparency of the regulations. You know, yeah. it's very easy to, to understand the way you will do your business, yeah. you know, because here, as we know before, uh, UAE was tax-free environment, which was very uh, simple to work in, you know, yeah. so this is one of the reasons that uh, so many companies and uh, people are coming here as well. After the VAT was introduced, it was still on a very reasonable level and the platform for establishing the, the tax and taxation system in the country was very simple, very straightforward. And this is also a very important reason for, a, for any business to focus really on its core activities, not to worry about so many administrative procedures on the side and, and taxes and, and other things that are just complicating the, the, the life, basically. Yeah, and uh, of course this is all because of the rulers of the AE. So we would like a small thank you, Mr. from your side to a ruler. Yes. Well, you know, in general, uh, the leadership of this country, the government, yeah. uh, has done uh, a lot of a lot of smart moves uh, and I have to mention especially during this pandemic, pandemic which is actually yes. still going on yeah. this is uh, where all of this was really showcased to the best of uh, its uh, strength uh, the precautionary measures that were implemented and that were very persistent mm. and uh, and uh, strict rules insisting of the government to follow these rules and the strict implementation of these rules is something that really helped uh, everybody mm -hmm. on a personal, on a business level, on a government, on a country level mm -hmm. to very successfully and uh, quite damage-free mm -hmm. uh, surpass and overcome this crisis. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are witnessing that many countries around the world, in Europe, <coughs> the most developed countries have gone much worse. And had the second lockdown even. Still, looking down. still. So this is something where we really have to lower our heads yes, to the government. Say thank you. you know, yes, really. And, and uh, recognize this uh, this uh, amazing, amazing success. Yeah, Mrs. Yelena, Of course, during your professional life, or let's say even personal life, there were some people supported you. You would like to say thank you to them today by our program. People, <laughs> no, I can say uh, thank you to the government, but uh, we were alone from the beginning, so <laughs> we were supporting we each, each other. other. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we were supporting each other from the beginning because our family is not here. Yeah. We have friends, but family is back home, so yeah. we are here so alone. So you were the support of each other. The most yes, important exactly. part of our success is yeah. actually our family. You know, uh, without yes. her, and the, our mutual uh, effort and, uh, and energy we both put in yes. that and love and enthusiasm we would not succeed for sure of course so i wish you the best of luck uh, keep supporting each other yes. next time we'll see you in the highest level <laughs> thank yes. you so thank much you. thanks for being with us thank Mr. you so much Alexander, mrs yelena thank we were you. so happy to have you today with us in thank one so of much. episodes of success documentary program thanks a lot thank, thank you. you thank you all the best all the best to you as well. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us today. See you next time.